afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for St. Peter and Paul, the 60th batch of graduates. We are now going to have the procession of the administrators, followed by the procession of the graduates, and then the procession of the staff.
Ladies and gentlemen, I know you may have gotten comfortable, but please stand as we ask Deacon Foster to come forward and offer prayer. My brothers and sisters in Christ, good afternoon. Let us open our hearts and our minds to the loving God in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. A God who cares, a God who loves, a God who has blessed us, mind, body, strength, and soul. Lord, come with us. We have journeyed far to this point with these young people. Today they come to the point of their graduation. We have strived, O oh God, over the years to embolden them with virtues that they will take with them through life. Today, as they graduate from this institution, we ask that you go with them, that you continue to bless them, and all that they have received from this place, they will take into the new schools that they have qualified for. We ask, Lord, that you bless each and every family here, that we may open our hearts to your goodness, to your will, to your truth, and so allow virtues to conquer all. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. So again, I say good afternoon. I am Celia French, and I'll be your master of ceremonies for the graduation ceremony. It's our 60th anniversary. Put your hands together for Saints Peter and Paul. The 60th batch of graduates. Can you believe that your baby is graduating? Six years here at Saints Peter and Paul. Give your children a round of applause, everybody. May I see the hands of those who have a graduate here? Put your hand up, mommy. Put your hand up, daddy. Oh, I see a beautiful smile on that man's face. He's so happy. Your child, oh, mommy is, yeah. Your child will be going to high school. And remember, it doesn't stop here at St. Peter and Paul, but it must continue. You must continue to be there for your children. Look at my teachers of St. Peter and Paul. Put your hands together for the teachers. They are wearing purple and I like it. Like it, I like it, I like it. Teachers, I want you to stand. Please, let them see you because I know they saw you when you were walking in. Turn around to them. Aren't they beautiful, everybody? Aren't they handsome, everybody? You may be seated. Coming to bring the scripture reading, Ruth Ann Atkinson. Good afternoon, everyone. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. They came to Capernaum. When he was in the house, he asked them. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. They came to Capernaum. When he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the road? But they kept quiet because on the way they had argued about who was the greatest. Sitting down, Jesus called the twelve and said, Anyone who wants to be the first must be the very last and the servants of all. He took a little child who he placed among them, taking the child in his arms. He said to them, Whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me does not welcome me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you very much, Ms. Atkinson, for reading the scripture for us. 
Graduates, how are you feeling? Graduates on this side, the girls, how are you feeling? Huh? Boys, how are you feeling? I see somebody doing this. That means what? He's good and bad. Girls, how are you feeling? What did you give the girls to eat for lunch? One second, let me try one last time. Girls, if you're feeling happy that you're graduating from St. Peter and Paul, raise your hands and say, I'm happy. Parents, do you believe them? Uh -uh. Boys, your time. I am happy. I, am happy. I believe the boys, but I'm not sure what's going on with the girls. Coming to bring welcome our head boy, Vijar Atkinson. Put your hands together for Vijar. Madam Principal, Vice Principal, members of staff, distinguished guests, parents, and fellow graduates, good, good afternoon and welcome to our 2023 graduation ceremony. This is the day. Some of us were anxious, some excited, some sad and others just could not wait. Regardless of how we felt, we are here and the moment is now. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all the stakeholders who made this special milestone possible, especially our parents and teachers. We thank you for investing in us praying for us, guiding us, loving us, and of course, for never giving up on us. To my classmates and friends, we did it. In our own way, we made an indelible mark on St. Peter and Paul. We had incredible achievements in academics, sports, the arts, and many other areas. In an unprecedented period, we displayed significant growth and resilience. Class of 2023, I am proud of you. We are proud of you. Now, as we continue to celebrate our graduating class, let us immerse ourselves in the experience, embrace our emotions, and hold ourselves present in the magic of the moment. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vijar Atkinson, head boy here at St. Peter and Paul. Put your hands together for him one more time. So, the number 60 symbolizes love, nurturing, home and family. This is a number of harmony, balance, idealism, and harmonious family relationships. So the graduating class, as we celebrate 60 years, you're the 60th batch. I want you to remember the words that I just read. Remember the words, 60 symbolizes love, nurturing, home, and family. Let's hear you say that. 60 symbolizes? Oh my Lord, you're all so bright. You're all so bright. Put your hands together for the graduating class of 2023. Coming now to give the present to the graduates, Miss Cornwall, Miss E. Cornwall, instructional leader, grade six. Give her a round of applause and make her feel welcome, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you 
Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the graduating class of 2023. Thank you. Oh my, you can give them a round of applause. That was amazing. So here I am thinking that they were going to sing for you. But that was beautiful, beautiful indeed. So, coming to give the introduction to our guest speaker, Carissa Graham, grade six. Carissa, where are you? Where is Carissa's mommy? Where is Carissa's daddy? Where are they? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny in the house. Jennifer Small and her husband, Richard. Come on, put your hands together for the parents. <clears throat> Carissa, where are you? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mrs. Beverly Edwards. I love that introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. A round of applause for the yourselves graduates. Well, if that's how you clap yourself, where are you going to clap me? A round of applause for yourselves. A round of applause for your parents and family. And a round of applause for your teachers. If, if I were to build a school that's putting the, the building up, you know, and the construction and so on, it's a school I want to build, right? After putting up the building, what would I need first? Teachers or students? Teachers? Who says students? And who says teachers? Who's a teacher? Well, teacher's a teacher, and students are students. But can we have one without the other, though? If we have a building with teachers only, who would they teach? Themselves. And if we have a building with students only, who would teach them? Themselves. So we need teachers, and we need students. I'm really happy to be here. I want for you to know that you are at the right place at the right time. Two weeks ago, someone asked me a question. I could not answer him, even though it was very, very simple. And I told him, whenever I meet a group of students, I'm going to ask them the very same question. It has nothing to do with graduation or anything. And so, I'm going to ask the question, or I'm going to tell you something, and you're going to tell me why it is so. Why is it that water is afraid of rain? 
It don't have nothing to do with graduation, you know. It's just totally unrelated. But I think I need to put it up because I got it wrong. I want somebody else to get it wrong today. Why is it that water is afraid of rain? Or do you know that water is afraid of rain? Where are the bright sparks in St. Peter and Paul? Water is afraid of rain. Because it falls. Is that so? One more and then we continue. Not fire now. Water is afraid of rain. This is what he told me when I couldn't get it right. He said, water is afraid of rain because every time rain fall, water keep running. <laughs> he caught me and I said, I really have to catch somebody with that one. Good afternoon, everyone. One year after Jamaica was said to be an independent country since Peter and Paul was established. Where are the math brains in the graduating class? So, if it is 60 years since this school has been established, what year was the school established? 1960 when? 1963. 60 years ago. It means, therefore, that you are at a center of learning that has been established for 60 years. Isn't that something? You are the 60th batch of graduates. Applaud yourselves, please. The theme Let's continue to build on our rich legacy. Together we will. This is something for us to think about for a brief minute. When we speak of legacy, we refer to a word that begins with I. Synonymous to legacy. What is that word that begins with I? Graduates, I'm talking to you. What is that word that begins with I? that is synonymous to legacy. Hmm? Not integrity. It is synonymous to legacy. Huh? Tell me, tell me, tell me. No. I-N, and it has an H after the N. Inheritance. Clap that one over there. Clap him, please. inheritance that has been passed down to you by those who came before for example your grandmother or your grandfather could have handed down an inheritance or a legacy to your parents maybe a business maybe a property and then your parents will eventually hopefully hand that down to you that's an inheritance that's a legacy listen you are the fortunate beneficiaries of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice of past and present parents, teachers, principals, and countless individuals who contributed to the development of this institution. As beneficiaries of this legacy or this inheritance, the responsibility is yours to preserve to honor and build upon for the betterment of yourselves. You have already demonstrated your brilliance, your determination. You have shown tremendous potential by the very fact that you are in this graduating class of 2023, the 60th batch of graduates, building on the inheritance of those who were here before you. What a legacy. What an inheritance. I want you to put your hands together for those who would have thought about it 60 years ago. A 
as prep school graduates, you are the embodiment of limitless potential and boundless enthusiasm. I am here saying that's what you are. Do you agree that's what you are? Do you agree? Yes, you should. It is here that it all began for all those who would have started at kindergarten. The foundation upon which you shall build your future, it is here. It is here that you would have learned to read, write, and listen. It is here that you would have learned essential skills, friendship, compassion, teamwork, and resilience. This prep school experience has shaped you. It has prepared you for the challenges and the opportunities that lie ahead. You have absorbed knowledge, honed your skills, developed a thirst for learning. The foundation you have built during your years here have equipped you with the tools needed to navigate the challenges and the complexities of high school. And guess what? Complexities there will be. You no longer will have one classroom teacher. You will have several teachers, various classrooms, and certainly there'll be no teacher asking you about homework. Your assignment will be your responsibility, yours. But with the foundation that you have laid here, you will be on top of your game, right? Right? Yeah. At high school, you are going to push. And when I say push now, push is an acronym. P, push. U, until. S, something. H, happen. Push until something happen. Push. But tell me, graduates, what is this something? that I'm talking about. Push until something happened. What is this something? Great. I'm not hearing you so loudly at all. To excel. Push until something happened. Push until your nay. Who understands the word nay? Ever heard it before, nay? It's an old English word for no. And I'm just trying to be a poet here when I say, push until your nay become your A's. Push until your nays become your A's. Push until your doubt no longer has a whereabout, can't be found. Push until those doubts definitely can't be found. Push until you become confident. Push until you become bold. Until you don't have to be told to do anything. Push until you achieve. Push until you accomplish. Until you have accessed your true potential. Push past through those who are afraid to ask questions. Push past those children who come to school to waste time. Push past them. Push past those who disrespect their teachers. Push past those who are fully dunce and who are proud to say they are fully dunce. Push past them. Push past those who are willing to stay in the back of the class without no subject. You're laughing? Push past them. Push, not because you're better than the rest. Push until you are satisfied that you have done your best. Just push. Push until something happens. You have a heritage and you have a legacy to protect. This morning when I was driving into Kingston, I heard a song from Jesse Royal. Who knows Jesse Royal? Never heard of Jesse Royal? Oh my God! Jesse Royal is a past student of this institution. I taught him speech and drama when I was here as a teacher. And he has this song. I can't sing, but I'm going to say something for you. Wake up this morning feeling so good. The world is yours for the taking, says a little voice in my head. Now look up Jesse Royal. 
He's playing it? Yes. Woke up this morning feeling so good. The world is yours for the taking, says a little voice in my head. Now, I want you to have that voice in your head every day. The world is yours for the, for the taking. So, I want you to listen to Jesse Royal when you leave here. He has lots of songs, but this morning when I heard that one, I said, I'm going to share it with you. Today, as you sit here at the edge of your new chapter on your educational journey, I urge you to embrace your legacy and your inheritance. That legacy of sharing, that inheritance of loving, of caring, of respecting your teachers, of respecting yourselves. It's your duty to grow and to contribute positively to the changes that lie ahead. Today, as you celebrate this milestone and as we gather here to celebrate this milestone with you, do not forget the rich legacy that has been passed down to you. You stand, graduates, on the shoulders of those who came before you. The visionaries, the trailblazers, the change makers who believed in the power of education 60, 60 years ago. Just remember, graduates, to, to, and push means push until something happens. Teachers, where are the teachers here today? May I see your hands, please? Where are the teachers here? All over the place. Remember that success is not solely measured by academic achievements, but by the impact that you have on the lives of your students. Continue, continue to help and to inspire those around you and to be a force for good in this country. By doing so, you will preserve and enhance the legacy that has also been entrusted to you this 60 years of legacy since Peter and Paul Preparatory School. Parents, I also have a word for you. Continue to nurture and support your amazing boys and girls, your sons and your daughters. Show them love at every juncture, every step of the journey. And remember, the journey is for them to walk. You are just guiding them. Congratulations, class of 2023. Please stand. You have a legacy. Go forth and be fearless in your pursuits of knowledge. Mighty saints, continue to make your mark on the world and remember push. Say it with me. Push. Push until something happens. Say that by yourselves now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You may be seated. Oh my word, you can give her a much better applause than that. Push until something happens. Coming to bring the thank you, Morgan Gordon. Make your way. Checking for sound. A special thanks to our guest speaker, Ms. Mrs. Beverly Edwards, for coming here today to share inspirational thoughts that will help and guide us as we embark on our next level of education, high school. Thank you so much, Morgan, for 
thanking our guest speaker, and I want the parents to say it as well. What is the acronym for PUSH? I barely heard it. Not the graduates now, the parents. PUSH! Fenke, Fenke, not true? I want this side. Push. That sounds like it. On this side, it's your time. This side is the winning side. Beautiful. Push until something happens. Thank you so much to our guest speaker, Mrs. Beverly Edward Stewart, for sharing your thoughts with us. And I do like the water one. Yeah, why the rain afraid of the water? So why the water afraid of the rain? I like that one. Anybody remembers why? Because the water runs when the rain. Praise the Lord. Coming now to bring a dance item, a solo piece. It's entitled My Safe Place. Elizabeth is coming with this one. Put your hands together for Elizabeth.
us bread, give us hope, give us one smaller than dust on this map lies the greatest thing we have the dirt in which our roots may grow in the right to Oh, that was extremely beautiful. Elizabeth McCall. Come on, put your hands together. Keep the applause going. Elizabeth, come here. Come here, Elizabeth. Where is mommy and daddy for Elizabeth? Where are they? Stand. Where is, is that mommy? All right, there is mommy. Come here. Are you a graduate? Mm -mm, nobody cannot hear you. Speak into the microphone. Yes, I am a graduate. Can you hear her? Stand up. Come on, speak. Yes, I am a graduate. Which school do you want to go to? Arden. She wants to go to Arden. Are you going to... I'm not sure what's going on with her. She's a little bit shy. She's shaking in my hand. Do you want to continue dancing? No. Do you think she should continue dancing? She won a gold medal at the JCDC for Festival of Arts. Come on, put your hands together. Mommy, do you want her to continue dancing? Yes. She says yes. So Elizabeth, I declare that you will continue dancing. Leap off. Leap. Elizabeth, come here. You have to listen to Auntie. Leap. You do. All right, just run across then. <laughs> Wonderful. Can you believe that we have more boys than girls graduating? Can you believe it? We have 47 boys. Put your hands together. 47 boys. And just four short, 43 girls. Put your hands together for the girls. 43 girls and 47 boys. Now we are going to have the presentation of our graduate certificates. To present them, Miss Nugent, assisted by Miss Byfield, and to read George, Mrs. George Brooks. Make your way forward. Good afternoon, parents. Good afternoon, well-wishers. Good afternoon, graduates. Good afternoon, graduates. Thank you, and the same to you. You may be seated. Neoza Prowl. Prowl. Dejon Ennis. Kimora Matt Nichols. Rajay Fritz. Marla Hudson Tyrese Miller Kelsey Braham Nyla Edwards Garsonique Wilson, Jer Jenkins, nice. 
Olivia Byfield. Zayden Dawkins. Chanel Lewis. Christophe White. Elizabeth McCool. Joshua Liam Hibbert. Kaylee Bent. Justin Rochester Brown. Ruthann Atkinson. Richard Long. Siri Thompson. Stephen Sawyers. Ying Ying Han. Matthew Lewin. Melissa Kerr. Jaren Jackson. Kiana Spencer. Joshua Rodriguez. Abriana Lewis. Asha Robinson. Mona Lee Bryan. Tajreek Hall. Amelia Dennis. Massimo Roden. Alexandria Farewell. Saeed Grant. Kayla Radcliffe. Niall Fogarty. Kimora Bailey. Harshiv Katri. Eleneve Vassal. Tyler Fogarthy. Crystal Wilson. Michael Smith. Khalees Skyers. Ethan Howell. 
Soraya Fami. Reese Condison. Twain Chin. Nathaniel Sales. Danica Beecher. Antoine Tobias. Tejane Johnson, Peyton Gale, Zarilyn Price, Rabina Sproul. Sage Graham. <laughs> Liam Smith. Cadell Johnson. Justin Ogilvy. Kirsten Henry. Jermaine Gonzalez. Michaela Kerr. Joshua Perrin. Ariel Gibson. Jason Rowe. Morgan Gordon. Jaim Barnes. Gian Dean Dominic Lazarus Kaylee Chuck Joel Dunkley Asha Loving There, Kuwain King, Nadisha Hutchinson, Ethan Chin, Jezrain Smith. Vijar Atkinson, <laughs> Ella Marie Fraser, <laughs> Joshua Terrell. Carissa Graham, yeah. 
Michael Swift. Tiana English. Dominic Willby. Alexander Jackson. Matthew Channer. Adithia Primraj. Ladies and gentlemen, please give our graduates a round of applause. <laughs> Elizabeth McCool. Thank you so much, Mrs. George Brooks, Ms. Nugent, and Ms. Byfield. I'm not sure if Matthew Chana. Matthew, come here a second. Did you realize that you got the loudest cheer? Yes, miss. Turn and let everybody see you. Do you know why that was? No, miss. He doesn't know why. Why did he get the loudest cheer? Hold on. Take your time. Don't cheer. Because what? Why did you cheer for him so loud? He's what? Oh, he's well-mannered. And so he got the loudest cheer. Okay. Matthew, keep being well-mannered so that when you graduate from high school and university, you will hear the loudest cheer because of how mannered, well-mannered you are. Say thank you. Thank you, everyone. Oh, beautiful. Noticed that Mr. Primraj got a cheer that was as loud as, as Matthew. Is it for the same reason? Because he's well mannered? Adifa, stand up. Adifia. Which, he is such a cutie. No, his smile is awesome. Which school do you want to go to? Campion. You want to go to Campion? And do you know why they cheered for you so loudly? No. Yeah, because um, I say hi to everyone. He says hi to everyone. And I hear that you're well-mannered as well. Thank you, miss. Thank you, everyone. Beautiful. Come here, Matthew. I want them to get a photo together. So take out your phones. And you can say you got the two well-mannered gentlemen. Go over there. Where's the photographer? Come on now. They are well-mannered. Put your hands together for Matthew and Adifia. Absolutely lovely. Thank you all so much. Thank you. You may go back to your seats. Beautiful.
coming now. Or valedictorian. Zaydin Dawkins, where are you? Stay, hold it, hold it, stay there. Come here, stay there. Where is the mother and father of Mr. Dawkins? Where are you? That's mommy, stand up mommy. Is daddy here? Go down, come here Mr. Dawkins, lend me this. Go all the way down and take mommy with you. He is going to give us a grand entrance with his mom. He is the valedictorian. Come on, put your hands together. No, 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 all the way back. Stop right there, Mr. Dawkins. Beautiful. Give mommy a chops now. <laughs> Lovely. Principal Miss Nugent, teachers, my fellow students, parents, and esteemed guests, good afternoon. Pep done! Hooray! Most, if not, all of us suffered from mental exhaustion. What a long exam! February, March, and April. Thank you, Madam Principal. The sprinklers were most welcomed by us all students and parents alike. As we, the grade six cohorts, gather here today on the cusp of leaving our beloved school, I feel an overwhelming sense of pride and gratitude. Pride for all that we have achieved together and gratitude for the lessons we have learned and the memories we have shared. Over the years, we have grown not just in height, weight, and knowledge, but also in character, perseverance, and resilience. We have learned the value of hard work and teamwork. We have discovered our strengths and weaknesses and learned to overcome challenges with courage, determination, and many special talks from our teachers and parents. None of this would have been possible without their guidance and support. They have nurtured us with patience and wisdom. They have not only imparted knowledge, but also instilled in us values that will guide us for a lifetime. We owe them a debt of gratitude that can never be fully repaid. As we move on to the next phase of our journey, let us carry with us the lessons we have learned and the friendships we have forged. Let us embrace opportunities and challenges that lie ahead with enthusiasm and optimism. Let us continue to strive for excellence and make a positive impact on the world. My fellow students, let us remember, the sky is the limit. We have come so far, we have learned so much. Let us never stop believing in ourselves and always remember, we hold the world within our hands and God is holding us in His. As we make our way out in the world, may we never lose sight of the things that matter the most. Congratulations! In conclusion, I want to thank everyone who has made our time at St. Peter and Paul Preparatory School so memorable and rewarding. Our beloved principal, our teachers, our canteen staff who fed us, our nurse who tended our needs, our guidance counselor, or ancillary staff, we thank you. Let us celebrate our achievements today and look forward to a brighter future tomorrow. Virtus et veritat, virtue and truth. Thank you and God bless. Well done, Mr. Dawkins. Keep the applause going for Zadin, Zadin Dawkins. One moment, please. Miss Nugent, come here, please. Pep Don! Pep Don! Pep Don! The parents are shouting louder than the children. It looks like it's the parents to Pep. Pep Don! 
What is coming next? C-Sec. You can't wait for C-Sec come and go, not true? And I certainly wish you all the best. So we come now to the presentation of class prizes. And I'll ask Deacon Foster to come forward. Miss Robbins. And the presentation of class prizes will be read by Mrs. C. Foster Johnson. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, my darlings, and I trust you have been having a wonderful day as well. Have you been having a wonderful day? Awesome. I'm happy to hear that. All right, so are you ready for this round? I'm not sure. Are you ready for this round, the class prizes? All right, let's get into it. Ready or not, here we come. You may be seated. We have several categories in class prizes. We're going to begin with positions in class. First in class for grade 6-1, Liam Smith. First in class, grade 6-2, Niall Fogarthy. First in class, 6-3, Vijar Atkinson. First in class, 6-4, Jean Dean. <laughs> A round of applause for grades 6 1 to 6 4, first position in class. Next round, second in class. For grade 6 1, in second position is Morgan Gordon. <laughs> grade 6 2, second position, huh? Tyler Fogarty is a twin business here. <laughs> Second in class, 6-3, Aditya Paraj. <laughs> and second in class for 6-4, Asha Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Round three, third in class for 6-1, Siri Thompson. <laughs> Third in class, 6-2, Nathaniel Sales. Third in class, 6-3, Keanu Spencer. And third in class for 6-4, Zayden Dawkins. A round of applause for the third position in class for grades 6-1 through to 6-4. Consistent performance, 6-1. Muna Lee, Michael Smith, Alexandria Thelwell. Muna Lee, Michael Smith, Alexandria Thelwell. Grade 6-1, put your hands together. Consistent performance. In grade 6-2, consistent performance. Jerry Jenkins, Matthew Lewin, and Kimora Bailey. Jerry Jenkins, Matthew Lewin, and Kimora Bailey from 6 2. Give them a round of applause, please. Grade 6-3, consistent performance. Have you heard your name yet? I think it's coming. Ruth Ann at 
Wilkinson, consistent performance. Ariel Gibson, consistent performance. Aubriana Lewis, consistent performance in class, grade six, three. Grade six, four, consistent performance. Joshua Tyrell. Melissa Carr and Joshua Rodriguez. <laughs> Consistent performance 6 4, Joshua Tyrell, Melissa Carr, and Joshua Rodriguez. Subject prizes. Are we ready? Mona Lee Bryan and Alexandria. Come for your trophies. And those are for consistent performances. All right, so we're going to the categories now. Mathematics. Top mathematician in grade six one. Morgan Gordon. <laughs> The mathematician for 6 2, Nathaniel Sales. 6 3, Vijar Atkinson for 6 3. And for 6 4, who do you think it's going to be? Jean Dean. <laughs> All right, we're on to the scientists. 6-1. Muna Lee Bryan in science. 6-2. Tyler Fogarty. Continuing with the scientists, 6-3. Keanu Spencer. And for 6-4, the scientist is Joshua Rodriguez! <laughs> Social studies. Grade 6 1. Liam Smith. <laughs> Top performer in social studies 6 2. Niall Fogarty. Twin vibes. In grade 6-3, th Adithya Premraj. And from 6-4, who do you think it's going to be? Joshua Tyrell. <laughs> social studies. Put your hands together for top performance in social studies. Liam, Niall, Adithya, and Joshua. Language arts. Grade 6 1, Liam Smith. Should have some people just stand. 6 2, Niall Fogarthy. <laughs> 6 3, Ruth and Atkinson. And for 6 4, Asher Robinson. That's a category top performer in language arts. We're on to the arts. Music. Grade 6 1. Moona Lee Bryan. Grade 6 2. Amelia Dennis. Grade 6 2. 6 3. Crystal Wilson. And in grade 6 4, the musician Dominic Lazarus. <laughs> Drama. 6-1. Robino Sproul. 6-2. Carissa Graham. And 6-4. Said Grant. <laughs> J 
drama. Robinho, Carissa, and Saeed. Religious education. Top performers. Muna Lee Bryan from 6-1. Jason Rowe from 6-2. Aditya Primraj from 6-3. And in 6-4, the well-mannered man, Matthew Channer. <laughs> the category of communication task, top performers. From grade 6-4, Asher Robinson, communication task. Grade 6-3, Vijar Atkinson. Again, we say from 6-2, Niall Fogarty. And in 6-1, we have Morgan Gordon in the category of top performer in communication task. In the area of dance, from grade 6-4. You want to tell me? Elizabeth McCool! <laughs> grade 6-3, Ariel Gibson! <laughs> Computer studies. From 6-4, Jean Bean! 6-3, Aditya Permraj. 6-2, Nathaniel Sales. And from 6-1, it's Morgan Gordon. That's computer studies. Physical education, grade six, four, Dominic Lazarus, <laughs> grade six, three, Reese Condison, grade six, two, Saraya Fami, and grade six, one. De Jean Ennis. <laughs> Put your hands together for the physical education first prize grabbers. De Jean, Soraya, Reese, and Dominic. Guidance, our final category. In 6 1, Morgan Gordon. In 6 2, Vassa in six three Aditya Premraj and our final top place holder in guidance is Zaralyn Price. Please give a big hand to all our first place. Students in the different subject areas. I want to say thank you so much to Deacon Foster. Thank you to Miss Robbins and Mrs. Foster Johnson. So I was trying to add quickly, but I can't. I'm not so good at math. So I'll stick to the top prizes. Who do you think got the most prizes for the first place? The boys or the girls? The boys. The boys here are shining. Put your hands together for the boys. Eight of them, eight of them topped the first, second, and third place prizes. Six of them topped the, the no, three of them topped the first place. Three of them top the second place, and two and two top the girls and the boys. That was equal. One girl got first, one girl got second. Again, the boys here are shining. Well done, boys. Well done, well done, well done. 
So, now we go to an item. Today my life begins. Prepared by Miss T. Grant, music teacher. Today my life begins. Today my life begins. Put your hands together one more time for the graduating class of 2023. And that song is done by Bruno Mars, in case you didn't know. It's the first time I'm hearing it. Thank you so much to the person who chose it. Was that you, Miss Grant? Thank you so much. Today my life begins. Now we're going to move to the presentation of special awards. And coming, we'll ask Mr. Jordan McGregor, the chairman for the school, and Roger Graham. He's not here, sorry, so only you, Mr. McGregor. 
assisted by C, Dr. C. Brown Johnson, and coming to read our principal, Ms. Claudia Nugent. Father is here. Bless you, Father. Thank you so much for coming. How was your journey here? Was good. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, parents, well wishers, students, special invited guests, our special awards. We will start with the Father Judah Trophy. And this trophy is presented to a practicing Catholic student. He or she should be humble, be an active participant in church and school community, demonstrate good values, that's honesty, obedience, respectful, and also be disciplined. And this person should also respond well to authority and get along with his or her peers. This year, the recipient of this prestigious trophy is no other than Mr. Joshua Rodriguez. The Bishop Don Reese Trophy. This trophy is presented to the student with the highest average overall in the grade. And this year, the recipient of this trophy is Mr. Vijar Atkinson. The Ogilvy Trophy. The recipients, or the recipients of this trophy are chosen by the teachers and students of the graduating class. This year, the boy of the year is Mr. Zayden Dawkins. And the girl of the year is Miss Gian Dean. For the next award, I'm going to ask us all to stand. And I'll explain to you why. Please stand. Some years ago, we lost a student. Most of you would have remembered that incident with the goalpost. And in honor of this student, every year at graduation, we award this trophy to a student. It's called the Jeremiah Yeeson Trophy. We usually stand and acknowledge one minute of silence in memory of Jeremiah. So we, our one minute will begin now. Thank you. You may sit. This trophy is awarded to the citizen, sorry, the student 
who shows qualities of being a good citizen. And this year, the award goes to Mr. Ethan Chin. Thank you. When your child started St. Peter and Paul Prep, we dubbed them uh, Mighty Saints. This year, the Mighty Saints Award, it goes to the student who exemplifies the ethos taught throughout his or her school life here at St. Peter and Paul. This year, this award goes to Miss Gordon Morgan. Miss Gordon Morgan. Or is it Morgan Gordon? Morgan Gordon. Give her a round of applause. She is the mighty saint. Thank you so very much, Father Roger. Bless you, sir. Mr. McGregor, please give him a round of applause. He's also a past student of St. Peter and Paul. This is our chairman. So we now move into our sports award. For track and field, Miss Saraya Fahmy. And the male is Mr. Dejon Ennis. For netball, we didn't have netball this year. However, the PE teachers did identify a student because it is taught during their PE classes. And this year, this award goes to Amelia, sorry, Miss Amelia Dennis. We continue with our sports award for swimming. Mr. Ethan Chin. And Miss Kayla Radcliffe. We move on with football. Over the years, we realize that we have so many talented footballers here at St. Peter and Paul. So we had to, instead of giving one student, we had to split it. So we broke it into category, two categories. We have outstanding skills in football, and the other category is most disciplined player. So for this year, for outstanding skills in football, Mr. Jermaine Gonzalez. And for most disciplined player, Mr. <laughs> Joshua Liam Hibbert. <laughs> and I echo the students, he's nicknamed Hibby. So, Hibby, all right. Our sportsman and woman of the year. They are chosen by the PE department and our sportsman for this year 
is no other than Mr. Dejan Ennis. And our Sportswoman of the Year is no other than Miss Saraya Fani. <laughs> Okay, we have some other awards to hand out today. We have some parents we want to recognize. Recognize, we recognized some at our long service award ceremony, and today we're gonna recognize another set. Is our HSA president here, Mrs. Nordia Hines Wizard? Is she here? No. All right, we move on to the next person. Mrs. Debbie Walker, that's Auntie Q. Right, Auntie Q is on her way. Miss Kerry Ann Kelson and Mr. Tommy Thompson. Parents, teachers, well wishers. Each time we have an event, all the decorations you see around Auntie Kerry, she's the person who puts a team together and get, get it done. So give her a round of applause. Auntie Kerry, Auntie Q, please come forward. Come forward. Where's Auntie Q? Most of you parents would know Auntie Q. You see her in the parking lot. She's our security. She's our nanny. She's, I mean, Auntie Q is our multi. We can call her all purpose. So, Auntie Kerry, please come forward. This is just a token of our appreciation for all that you have been doing for us. Please give her a round of applause. And Auntie Q. She's a treasurer, security guard, you name it, she fills in, all purpose. Thank you for all you do, Auntie Q. And you're welcome. And also, Mr. Kirkshaw, please come forward, yes. Yes. Parents, he's quite popular in the kinder department, so hence he has his cheerleader down there. Thank you for all you have been doing, Mr. Shaw. They were quiet. He works quietly in the back. You would never know. I had to trick him to get him to be here today. All right, thank you again, Mr. Shaw. Uh, there are some other persons we want to highlight and say thank you to. Father Graham, where's Father? All right, until Father returns, Deacon Foster, oh, here comes Father. Give Father a round of applause. <laughs> Father, you have been a guiding light. You have been our parish priest, and you have been a shoulder to lean on. We thank you for everything that you have done for us, and you have been doing and will continue to do. Thank you, Father. And I hope you enjoy what is in the little bag there. Deacon Foster. Deacon. At the drop of a hat, I call on Deacon and he's present. Always willing and delivers at all times. Thank you so very much, Deacon Foster. I'll ask Miss Wellington to present this one to our chairman, Mr. McGregor. He has a chair in my office. He's here every day, quite present, always here helping, guiding. Thank you so very much, Mr. McGregor. And it was 
a joke for us because while he was a student here, I was working, I've been working here, and it was a joke for Miss Wellington and myself to be calling him Mr. McGregor because he was Jordan then. All right, so thank you, Mr. McGregor. Uh, Mrs. Foster Johnson, please come forward. <laughs> Come and just stand up and let me talk, all right? Now, parents, you know what Mrs. Foster Johnson went through some months ago, and she has never wavered. She has never, ever, no matter what it is you call on her, no matter what, you know what she was going through or have some idea what she was going through. We have events. Mrs. Foster Johnson is always front and present. And there's no task that you ask of her, and she's not there. We dub her, yes, we dub her as our resident MC because she grabs that mic and she delivers. Separate and apart from that, she can be miserable just like me, but we get the job done. Mrs. Foster Johnson, we love you. We appreciate everything that you have been doing, and... Just know that we are always here. You know that. Thank you so very much, Mrs. Foster Johnson. <laughs> Madam MC for the evening, Auntie Celia. Now, most of your parents, I'm not sure if you know. Come forward, Auntie Celia. Go over there. When you go to uh, prep charms, boys charms, charms on a whole, this is the voice that you hear. Miss Celia French. Uh, Auntie Celia became a part of St. Sweet, the St. Sweet John Paul family some years ago. She you would have met her at sports day. She is our MC um, or announcer at uh, our sports day. Auntie Celia, we love you, we appreciate you, and we just want you to know that you're a part of the St. Peter and Paul family. Thank you so very much. And this is where I now take my seat. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you so much, Miss Nugent. Put your hands together for the special awardees again, everybody. And I would like for all of them to come up here because I think you need to take a group photo. All of the special awardees, make your way back up here. Joshua, our mighty saint, Morgan. Come on up, you all know yourselves. Miss Fami, Mr. Ennis, the special awardees, come on. Come and take a photo. Come with your award, of course. Come with your award. You know yourselves, Vijar, Ethan, Zaydin. These are your special awardees. Stand together quickly and take a photo of them. Girl, the girls are running to the back. Girls, step down onto that side. Lovely. Are you seeing all of them? Come on, where are the phones? Take out the phones. Put up the trophies. Come on, man. Celebrate. Celebrate your joy. Are the young ladies' trophy up? I can't see. You run gone fast. Give them another round of applause again. <laughs> now we are to the item inseparable. This dance is a duet. Janelle Smith and Lisa Nay Spencer. Put your hands together for them, ladies and gentlemen. Inseparable. No, no, clap loud on a man.
Stop them for a while. Stop, ladies. Go back that way and you come back this way. We're going to bring up the song some more. Would you like a microphone on that side? Okay.
absolutely amazing. Oh my word. Janiel, come out here, love. Make your way out here. Give them another round of applause, everybody. Come up here. Are you in grade six? No. What grade are you in? Um, grade five. Beautiful. Come over here. Where is she? And what grade are you in? I'm in grade five. They are in grade five, so you're gradu graduating next year. Yes, I am. Which school do you want to go to next year? Probably Campion or Immaculate. Campion or Immaculate. And for you? Campion. Campion. Are you going to continue dancing? Yes. And you? Yes, I am. Say praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord, everybody. Because if they told me no with those beautiful moves, especially the one where... Do it for me, both of you. Inseparably, when you go on the ground and your leg, what is that called? Come here, teacher. What is that called? What is it? Just shout it out. The one where they go on the ground and the leg is stretched up. What is that? Yeah. It's a what? A what? A what? Back more? A bat more. Okay. Do the bat more for us. That's what you said? A bat more. Ready? Oh, no, wait. Keep it up there. Come on. Keep it up there. Keep the leg up. And go now. Go a little closer. Beautiful. Oh, look at that move. Mighty God. If they told me no, I would cry. Because aren't they dancers? Are you with a dance group at the moment? Janiel, are you with a dance group at the moment? No, you only dance with Saints Peter and Paul. You need to get into a dance group. The dance teacher is the best in the island, and they got a trophy. He got a national trophy. The best dance teacher. Beautiful. So then, we need to encourage him to form the dance group. So he has one. So how come they're not a part of it? You need to go and speak to teacher and get into his dance group. Put your hands together one more time for Janiel. And so we are at the very near to the end of the program. And the vote of thanks will come from our head girl, Gian Dean. Make your way to bring the vote of thanks. Put your hands together for Gian, everybody. Good afternoon, everyone. Master of Ceremony, Miss Cecilia French, Archbishop of Kingston, Most Reverend Kenneth Richards, Brother Kennedy, Chairman of the School Board, Mr. Jordan McGregor, our Principal, Miss Claudia Nugent, Vice Principal, Miss Susan Wellington, Guidance Counselor, Dr. Brown Johnson, teachers and ancillary staff, parents, well-wishers, and fellow graduates, good afternoon. I am extremely elated to have the honor of doing today's vote of thanks. On behalf of St. Peter and Paul graduating class of 2023, first and foremost, I must extend our deepest gratitude to the Master of Ceremony who carried the program effortlessly from start to finish. We thank Brother Kennedy for his support and prayers throughout the school year. Our principal, Miss Claudia Nugent, and our guidance counselor, Dr. Brown Johnson, for making sure that we stayed on the right path, physically, academically, and mentally. All the teachers who helped to decorate the church and to prepare us graduates for this memorable occasion. Last, but certainly not least, a big thank you to all our parents who have, who have nurtured and supported us both financially and emotionally throughout the school year. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Well done. Thank you so much, Gian Dean, head girl.
for Saints Peter and Paul. Can I hear the parents shout out the name of the graduate? Their graduate. Parents shout out the name of your graduate. Now I want you to put your hands in the air and give them a round of applause. The graduating class of 2023. Yes. Lovely. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. I gave you all the chance to explode. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Continue. I'll wait. Yeah, who is coming next? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I heard you, I heard you. Nobly need, afraid and shy. The graduation song coming from your graduating class of 2023. Fully done. What is the acronym for PUSH? PUSH! PUSH! Indeed, we have come to the end of the graduating ceremony for Saints Peter and Paul, the graduating class of 2023. Boys and girls, put your hands in the air and celebrate right now. Celebrate! A new chapter is coming. At this time, Father Roger Graham will come forward and bring the benediction.
Good afternoon again, everyone. I'll just invite you to stand and I'll invite the graduates and everyone here to join me in the doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy And may the Almighty God come upon you and remain with you. May you grow from strength to strength and always rely on him as the source of your life. And may you continue to enjoy all his bounty. Through Christ our Lord we pray, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now the graduates will recess. Parents, you may be seated. Put your hands together for the graduating class of 2023 as they recess. Call your child's name. Make them feel good. Keep the applause going, man. Don't stop already. We have lots more to come. So parents, we're going to move the backdrop on the outside so that you can take your photos. So be rem please remember that the backdrop will be moved on the outside so that you can take your photos. <laughs> 